This is the step-by-step -step guide on loading a movie into Jellyfin. Streaming services want you to pay subscriptions forever, but you don't have to. Instead, you can digitize your movies. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I've built a library of hundreds of movies and went from this to this. In this video, you'll see a step-by-step -step guide highlighting the most important settings for functionality and quality. Our journey begins with a disc. Throw it into the DVD drive. Wait, we need our first piece of software. Go to Google and type Make MKV. Click on Free while in beta. You'll need this key to activate the product later. Now, go to the Make MKV site and click Download, then install it. The disk information will pop up here, and don't forget to register with the key in the Help menu. Once the software reads the disk in, you'll have to choose which titles to keep. What's wrong with you? You don't jump in front of a black man in a buffet line? Calm down! One title is the movie, and others may be extras or ads. To identify the movie, look at the file size. Movies will be between 3 and 30 gigabytes, depending on length and picture quality. You can also check that the duration matches the expected length of the movie. I usually deselect anything unnecessary, such as foreign audio or subtitles. Bitch, you know? I'm gonna slap you. Bitch, you know? I'm gonna slap you. Okay, look. Here. You understand that? Now you're speaking my language. You've now made an MKV file, and we can encode it to MP4 to drastically reduce the file size. To do this, we will use another free program called Handbrake. There are a variety of presets to use, but I prefer to customize the settings manually. In the Dimensions tab, you can see the resolution, display size, and aspect ratio of the movie. To retain these dimensions in the output, set the cropping to none, and check the optimal size box. Make sure the resolution limit matches the dimensions of the original file. In the Video tab, change the encoder to H.264 AMD or NVIDIA to match your graphics card and speed up processing. I also recommend to change the frame rate to constant, which will avoid issues with subtitle syncing. Which word was go? Lastly, review the audio and subtitle sections to ensure the language is correct. For subtitles, leave the foreign audio scan option with burn in enabled. This will write subtitles on the screen when another language is spoken. You can also burn in your native language subtitles if you prefer to always have them on. You can save the preset here to quickly restore these settings. Click add to queue to queue up processing and start encode to process your queue. Now for the fun part, let's load the movie. Rename the file if needed. The MP4 encoded file is around a quarter of the storage size. Jellyfin prefers the file names as shown, movie title with the year in parentheses, and an optional movie database tag. You can find the tag in the movie database website by looking at the web address for the movie page. Now, go ahead and load the movie into your Jellyfin server so that you can enjoy it on your computer, phone, or television. Here's a bonus tip. These days, DVDs are a dime a dozen, and we can use the power of artificial intelligence to bring them up to Blu-ray quality or better. While it's definitely not cheap, the best software I've found to do this is called Topaz Video AI. I'll typically load the movie in. It will usually take hours to upscale it, but I'll just queue them up and leave it overnight and come back the next day to load them into my media server. 
Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the two. You didn't! I did! What you said? I did this. What does this mean? Man, speak English to me! That means I go this way and you go this way. I go that way, you go this way. Yes. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. That's my process on how to rip a movie, encode it, and load it into my media server. If you did enjoy the video, it would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed to my channel. Hope your movie uploads go smoothly.